So you may not realize it, but people who are profoundly blind, even those who are congenitally profoundly blind, still form a mental image in their mind of the scene around them. They use their, their sense of touch, in some cases uh, echolocation, and also, of course, the tip of their cane or their seeing eye dog to form that mental image. Our technology, the BrainPort, uses a video camera, a streaming video camera, mounted on a pair of glasses and processed through our computer, and then we display that um, information on the tongue of the person with an a, a electrode array of 400 tactors. And using this additional information, besides what they can get from their cane or their sense of touch, we ref the profoundly blind person learns to um, enhance the image, the mental image that they have of the scene around them. Our technology is FDA cleared. It was one of three de novo um, clearances in this last year. And we also have the CE mark. Let me show you Kevin. Oh, we don't have sound. Oh, we do have sound. Kevin is 42 years old in Madison, and he's profoundly blind since birth. And he has worked with us to develop this technology from a user point of view. Some of the benefits of this technology are to increase mobility, to enhance independence for people who are profoundly blind. We are having a lot of fun with this technology in the sense that we're working now with children in Milwaukee School District and, and in Missouri to determine what kind of benefits we can provide to children who, in terms of learning, for instance, geometric shapes, et cetera. And we're also investigating the usefulness of our technology for enhancing job opportunities for people who are profoundly blind. The, uh, in the future, we will develop mobile applications in conjunction with what we can display on the tongue so that people who are profoundly blind, for instance, can uh, determine where the exit sign is or whether, where the restroom sign is in a crowded space. I think about this technology in the sense of the driverless car, all the things that the driverless car needs to do, stay in the lane, avoid obstacles, read and interpret signs. Our mission is to bring that same kind of technology to people who are profoundly blind. And then finally, um, from a commercialization point of view, I have heard from so many people, well, profoundly blind people have no money, so from a commercialization point of view, you have a very difficult time. Well, we are going to investigate reimbursement for our device. Um, we have met with uh, key people in China, also in France, and soon in the U.S., and we believe quite optimistically, actually, that we will get reimbursement because when you compare our technology to, for instance, the retinal implants, we're much more affordable. Since we don't involve surgery, we're also much safer for the, for the patient or the blind person. <laughs>